Hi guys, we're just jumping right into this video. It's just going to be a quick tutorial. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is clean my face. You can do this with any fancy scrubs or just with a paper towel and warm water. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, you just want to make sure you get any oil or dirt off your face. After that, you want to get a dry towel and just make sure all that water is off and your face is completely dry. Alright, so now I'm adding some coconut oil to my eyebrows and hairline and I don't really recommend it. Uh, if you have Vaseline, use that. It works so much better. If you don't happen to have it, then yes, go ahead use coconut oil or any type of oil. Just make sure you use a lot of it. Anyways, you want to make sure you put a good amount on both your eyebrows and your hairline so we don't lose any hair. Now cut your plaster strips and dent them in warm water one at a time. Make sure you smooth out the strip before applying it to your face. And it is really simple, make sure to cover your face with the strips. Use your fingers to smooth them out. You want to do this so you make sure you get every detail of your face. The only thing you want to leave uncovered is your nostrils and your eyes. Now wait 30 minutes for it to dry or use a hair dryer and cut that time in half. When it's dry, scrunch your face to loosen it from the inside. Maybe use your fingers to pull it off from the edges. And with a little time, it should come off. Holding it up to the light, you can see where you need to add more plaster strips. Alright, and now we are also covering the nostrils and the eyeballs. Now we can add the plaster. This is two parts plaster to one part water. Mix it so when it drips down, the consistency looks like this. Now I'm spraying the inside with Pam, and yeah, I don't recommend this either. Just use vegetable oil and use a good amount of it. I placed the face in a towel that is in a box so when I pour the plaster it would stay in place. And when you add the plaster you want to add just a little bit in the beginning and move it around so it can get the details of your face and it also helps with air bubbles. Pour the rest in and tap it so the air bubbles will come to the top. I need a big more plaster so I did and now I'm just adding that to the rest of my cast and then smoothing the top out with the fork. So here it is, it's sitting in the box, I'm going to let it sit for overnight. Alright, so yeah, it's the next day and I'm kind of annoyed because, you know, did not add enough oil, so I made a giant mess and some of the strips just didn't come off. Learn from my mistake, more oil helps. Anyways, moral of the story, if you want this process to be easier and cleaner, use more oil. This is how it looks. It's a little messy, but it's no problem. It's still going to work just fine. Go ahead and grab some sandpaper and smooth out your cast. Alright, and now the last step is adding any type of varnish. I am doing three layers of wood glue to fill in any little holes that I have made when I was trying to rip off the plaster strips. Then the next day, I did four layers of white glue to give it a smooth finish. White glue and Mod Podge work great. Back next week, there's a really funny video coming up uh, where I use this to make a prosthetic. So, yeah, next week for sure. Come back. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Share this video with your friends, and I'll see you next time.